Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. So in my, in my previous video, we discussed about the uh, MD04 and the very basic uh, options and the features we have in it. So this is an extension video of uh, the previous one where uh, we'll be discussing in more details on uh, more further options uh, we have uh, you know, in the MD04 transaction. So let me switch on to the SFA screen. So here is the MD04 transaction. Yeah. So now here, uh, based on our yesterday's discussion, we have reviewed a raw material which has uh, an open purchase orders, right? And also the order reservations. So this is a, a finished product now, where we can uh, see the quality inspection lots that are still open uh, for this material. So we can see uh, also the quality inspection lots which are not yet processed or pending for uh, result recording or usage decisions uh, for one material in this MD04 screen. So in, instead of going to the uh, uh, QA33 or QA32 transactions uh, to see the complete list of open lots for one specific material, so uh, we also can review them in the MD04 uh, transaction itself. So however, we know that the QA32 and 33 are basically, you know, uh, to get a mass list of uh, open lots or the uh, closed ones, right? So, yeah. So here we can see the QM inspection lots, which are yet to be cleared. Along with it, we also can see the independent requirements which are uh, created for the material. Like I said, we can also see the uh, open receipts, the open requirements, reservations, demands, and so on uh, for one material in this single transaction. So let me show you a few options how we can actually create some kind of a favorite uh, in this particular transaction for uh, a user ID. So we know that uh, in order to get into the stock details, we always need to check the uh, transaction MMB, right? So in this uh, MB04, we have uh, the option to navigate to the uh, MMB transaction by just clicking on this icon here. and click on the stock overview. So this will take me to the uh, MMB transaction, right? Yeah. So similarly, if you have got uh, quite many options where you can actually create uh, uh, your favorites, something like, uh, uh, I just want to run MRP for this material, right? So instead of going to a new screen or entering the uh, T code every time I can simply uh, create a favorite here by uh, choosing the own favorite option. So click on maintain and new entries. And here uh, the transaction code can be uh, you know uh, any T code that you would like to review. So for now I'll use uh, the MD02 transaction. And here I'm going to choose with the initial screen in which the initial screen of the MD02 would uh, appear. And this option uh, in the new session, it basically opens a new screen whenever you click on the icon. And here you can define the text of this transaction. So I'm going to choose it as MRP run. And now you have an option to select the icon. So just click on F4 and here you can see uh, several options that you have to uh, select the icon. So let me choose the right one or so let me choose this one, the icon color, right? So I'll just need to double click on it and then save it. That's it. So it, it, it's going to ask you a uh, uh, customized uh, transport request. So just save it and we are done. So just go back to the screen. Mm -hmm. So now you can see the new icon right here. So this was not there initially. So now we have uh, added this as uh, my favorites. So when I just click on this uh, MRP run, so then system uh, navigates me to a new screen uh, with the initial screen of uh, MD02, right? So I can just uh, alt tab and go to my MD04. And then this is my new screen where I can just execute the MRP. So this is one option. 
And along with this, um, we also have some predefined uh, profiles that provides us the functionality of this MRP run. Uh, it can be a single uh, item multi-level or as a, a single item single level MRP run. So that depends on what kind of uh, a navigation profile are we going to choose here, right? So I'm going to choose the um, MRP profiler, the M MRP controller profile. So now you can see that I have uh, all these icons defaulted, right? So I can set these as my uh, favorites uh, for my user ID. So I need not always uh, change this particular profile every time I'm logging. So once I just set it, I can just uh, have it every time available for me. So here, uh, this icon, it basically navigates us to the, and similarly, you have the single item multi-level uh, planning, which is the MT02. And then we have the single item interactive planning, which will now get me to the uh, MD transactions. And similarly, if you would like to see uh, the planning file entry, so you have an option to just click on this and you'll be navigated to the planning file entry screen for this material. So this is basically the MD20 transaction. So going back one step. So, yeah, these options what we have uh, just created as the uh, own favorites. So we can create up to max uh, five transactions. So it can be any of uh, the transactions that are not yet provided in the uh, standard profiles, right? So now in order to remove that, so just uh, follow the same steps, click on maintain, and then click on delete. That's it, we're done. So you can see that the icon has disappeared. And similarly, I'm going to reset my navigation profile by following the same steps. So just remove this over here. That's it. We are back to the uh, normal basic settings. And similarly, uh, if you'd like to uh, email uh, the current planning position of this material uh, in the MD04, uh, to any of your uh, colleagues, so then we can use this option to send uh, the mail to the MRP controller. So what just need to, yeah, we may just need to uh, define the MRP controllers in the configuration, or you have to type in the code. So you can just type in the SAP username or the logon name here, and uh, provide the uh, email ID. So I'll just mention it as screen to for now. And you also can do an attachment if you have any Excel uh, on your desktop, right? And then send it. So now the document has been posted to the MRP controller. So to check that, you can choose uh, the uh, business workplace in SVWP. So this is the email what I've just uh, sent now, right, the test one. So this is how we can actually communicate uh, with the MRP controller or any uh, user uh, in the SAP system. Or we also can have uh, an external email ID defined if we have the workflow settings configured, right. So these are a few options, a few more options we have here in the MD04 screen. So if you don't, want to know something more about this uh, so please do uh, type your questions in my comments box and keep watching my channel i'll be coming up with um, more uh, new videos uh, sooner thank you so much for watching my videos have a nice day bye bye